Okay, cool. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Culture Shock. I am your host, uh, Seth McKendry, and you're my guest today, Bonnie Sawyer. Hi, fellas. He, he, my iPad. I, I didn't know him. <laughs> Okay, we are in the cradle of civilization, the melting pot of the universe. Uh, Tempe, Arizona, right? Yes. I get the state and city. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> 35 seconds in, and we're you know, off to a, say, a pretty good start. I'll say so. Uh, we haven't, I haven't fucked up yet. Not yet. <laughs> give it some time. I, I will give, give it about close to an hour. Yeah. Anyway, um, you are my brother person. I am your brother person. Yes, that is you correct. are. That is he, he is from my mama, just like me. I came from him. Sure. Hey, you for him? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, it's safe to say that you've seen me do a lot of dumb shit. Uh, I have seen uh, you do plenty of dumb shit. That, uh, uh, is that an understatement? That is not an understatement. <laughs> all right so um uh, we'll get into me being an idiot later yeah. uh, music okay you, i do make music he sometimes. is the music man i do sometimes okay sometimes <laughs> uh how uh, if people out there don't know um, i've been known about you wanting to do music even before then, right? Yeah. I've yeah. been trying to do music since I was like pretty much a senior in high school. Yeah. That's when I first started writing so but uh really when I was in fifth grade, me and my buddy wrote a we wrote this song and we like emailed it to this gospel like this gospel rap group <laughs> and they actually made the song. Dude that's tight. And I was in fifth grade and that was our first ghost writing. I didn't get money for the oh, No royalties. No royalties, bro. Rude as fuck. That must have felt like kind of the coolest thing in the world. Think about it. You're in fifth grade. Yeah. And if your fans are there, you'd be like, really? Yeah, no, that was it was definitely cool uh, writing that song and then, you know, actually hearing the track spit out by like someone that wasn't me or my buddy, you know? Mm -hmm. But it was definitely an experience, but that's when I first realized like, I could do this shit. Okay. You know, this shit is kind of like because I, I, I'm pretty sure you know this, but I love spending time with you. I and, do know. You know, I do talking to you. I like some stuff. Yeah. All right. So, um, I remember when you were like first doing the. It was when you were working at the music store. Yeah. Because I, I remember that period of time in my life. I remember it specifically, and like I remember everything, like like that month of time yeah. or whatever however long it was i was there for like three years oh okay yeah. then yeah that period of time i remember i remember i'd, I'd go to the i'd have like no fucking reason to go to the music store i just yeah. i just go because i wanted to see you get you some guitar strings yeah get you some drumsticks yeah yeah you you sold me the jody georgeson 515 i did I have um, i did Sold you on that shit because I was like, yo, slip down drummer, bro. I know, <laughs> I know you're gonna want these sticks, so buy the shit. And like, I because I remember I was watching a video of um, him on the pentagram, oh, doing yeah. the, doing oh, the yeah. doing classic, and he's like spinning around and yeah. stuff, you know, it's classic. And uh, <laughs> um, he, uh, yeah, I remember I saw it. You, I, I seen like what the sticks were because I seen him st stirring his blood and yeah. stuff. And I was like, "Oh, dude, these look awesome." And I remember I went to the store and I asked for him specifically. Yeah, I, I remember, remember you told me about him. and like I asked for him specifically. I was like, "I want to fight these two. Yeah, and he had it. Um, yeah, and I remember you guys sold Ticket of Destiny for. Him. We did. The, yeah, the, the base, base one, the base one. Yeah, she was cool. And because uh, I remember, I'm I am a huge Nasty fan, just yes. like yourself. As I know, we play the guitar here just earlier yesterday. Uh, yeah, and today. today. Yeah, today we play we guitar here. You know, yeah. Um, I remember the pick of Destiny. 
became like my favorite movie of all time. It's a fantastic movie. Yeah, it, it was about three years ago. I was, in, I was, I remember I was still in middle school. Yeah. And I was talking to the security guard. We spent like two hours talking about Tenacious D. It's a good ass movie. We just watched it like a week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> high as fuck too, which is off of my bucket list. Now. Yes. I was very high because I really wanted to watch that movie. I, someone that I loved. Did you like it? I fucking loved it. Did you like it when you're high? Yeah. I loved it even more when I'm high. And I watched um, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle live. I laughed the hardest I've ever laughed in my life. Actually, it was, it was classic. Um, me and Malachi were watching Anchorman too. Yeah, and he did that. <laughs> <laughs> the, you like you know when he's in the elevator and he's laughing like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> and dude, that made me laugh so hard it sounded like I was crying tears profusely. It's funny. It's funny. That is true. And Malachi was just sitting there going, <laughs> just like you know, yeah, I'm almost crying from yeah laughter. Yeah. But like I, I remember that period of time of you working out the story and I'd go just to like talk to you. Like, yeah, yeah. Up, how it's everything. That's true. It's true. And it's a dead spot. And it's cool. It's still there. Harvest Street Music is changed. Yeah, they they're there. I would have worn the t shirt, but I forgot to bring it. I still have the shirt by the way. Me too. Sick. And then uh, okay, so I remember when you first started getting into music, that was when I got Twitter. Yes. And I, I uh you retweeted me quite a bit. Yeah, a lot. Quite a bit. I would say at that, from the, <laughs> like for that stretch of time, you were like, I was like a promotion, yeah. not a promotion page, but like a fan page. Type a little thing. bit. You were, you were low-key a fan page. Because, you know, I love my man yeah. and I want him to succeed in what he does. I love you too, man. So I don't want to be like, I'll be like, yeah, I'm your biggest deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, he's, yeah, the Twitter thing. Um. How did you first know that it was like, like I'm going to do this, I'm going to make money and be the man? Uh, I never really thought I'd make money. For being real, I never thought I'd make money off that shit. Never thought I'd be the man either. Um, you're getting there. Really, though, I just like I just like to make music. And uh, I figured, like, might as well give it a shot. And then I did the first mixtape, and people liked it. It was back in the SoundCloud days. Yeah. And people like that shit. So I just kind of kept going and uh, kind of all worked out for the better, honestly. It's now making some pretty good shit that I never released, but it's still pretty good music. <laughs> See, and the one thing I love about being your brother is that, I mean, I love, I just love being your brother in general, but like, but it's kind of cool that you hit me up. You're like, oh yeah, you, you want to hear this? It's not released yet, but like, give me yeah. your time. You got all the unreleased shit, all the like, good shit. I still have those like downloads in my like, phone. Yeah, that shit. Some of it might not ever be released, you know. Yeah, but you got it. So. And um, I, I, I would, I would so, like put them on a laptop, CD that yeah, one day, one thing, and then fucking bedroom tapes. <laughs> Bring the horizon, man. Yeah, <laughs> two thousand. Oh, Bob Dylan, bro. <laughs> Bob Dylan did the bedroom yeah. tapes, and then. Uh, Oh, I released no. the mixtape. Bring the horizon did um, the bedroom session. Yeah, I did. Uh, I released a mixtape called Bedroom Tapes last year. Yeah, I remember. And that, that was all unreleased shit from like 2015, 16 to oh, 2018. Yeah. And that was a kind of like a little nudge to Bob Dylan because that's my that's my guy. Mm -hmm. That's my guy. Yeah, I I'd have to say either um, I like Bob Dylan a lot, but I also like. Uh, uh, Wait, would Stevie Ray Vaughan fit in that category, or is? I mean, he's a rocker. I mean, maybe making rock, you know? Yeah, I've been I, I was Ray thinking Vaughan. about someone like Bob Dylan, but that wasn't Bob Dylan. I mean, Bob Dylan didn't make blues, but they both played the guitar. Yeah, I was thinking of singular guitar players. You know, That's why they both played the guitar. They both like talked about their struggles and shit. So they were like the first guys to like kind of the album say precursor to Kid Cudi. Oh no! I was thinking about the Doors. The Doors, yeah. They, they were like the um, precursor to say how like Kid Cudi and everyone nowadays. Even yeah. though Kid Cudi was kind of like the guy that picked it back up. Yeah, I'll give that. Like, like the Doors are very wavy. Mm -hmm. They're very vibey. They're very with the, like energies and mm -hmm. shit like that. Um, you no, know, uh, Jim Morrison was a shaman. Oh, 
Oh yeah, huh? Jim Morrison was a shaman, so like he was with that shit, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, but then, fortunately, died. Yeah, you no, know, we still really haven't caught that same wave mm-hmm. or same vibe in the music scene. But there's some people that are close mm-hmm. for sure. I, I would say Kid Cudi is the one, that, like, kind of he's close. It back he be vibing, yeah. He, he be like vibing. picked it back up and actually let you in yeah and do say shit. like emotionally where like he, instead of rapping about shit just to turn up yeah he like uh opened up his uh his heart basically yeah. that's a hard and thing to do just, too, you know poured it onto the fucking thing. people don't want to listen to you do that yeah you know they mm-hmm. don't they, they don't, don't want to hear about your struggles them. they just want to turn up because i'll be rapping about my struggles and shit i think but, those are my favorite songs that but the songs that got the most plays those ones that are the ones like Hammond it boy. Yeah. It's like turn up shit. So it's like people don't want to hear about that shit, but it's still gotta be said. Uh-huh. It's still gotta be put down, you know, even if no one gonna listen to your shit. You got some you got some struggles, you got some problems, bro. And you're able to put that shit in a song, you better put that shit out. And you know, like, you better put of, that shit think out. Think about it. It'd be like say they're like if nobody listens to this shit, who cares? But if it's if I just reach one kid and say fucking uh, what's a really long far away country like Russia? Russia's pretty far. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, Russia. Say one fuck kid of Russia hears my shit and he's like, oh, I, I, I identify with. This. Yeah, I mean, they send you that message you're like, oh yeah, you're fucking. Yeah. You saved me from hanging myself. Yeah, with, like something like that. I mean, shout out to Russia. That, yeah, I got yeah, quite yeah. a bit of fans in Russia. Yeah. I, I love all of you guys. You know, I don't know you or can't pronounce your name. I still love you. Y- y'all make some beast ass <laughs> MMA fighters. So. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I get a lot of my beats, like my instrumentals. A lot of them are from Sweden and Russia mm-hmm. and countries like that. Um, and like Japan. No, not so many Japan. Or, no, uh, oh, like I get a lot from Sweden, Russia, Norway. Yeah. Like like European places, mm-hmm. a lot of my producers are here. It's like um, you remember Parasite Eve from Google Horizon? How yeah. it started with the, uh, yeah. the, 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 like like that. Yeah, there's people like from the UK and shit uh-huh. you know, fucking with your shit, and they want to send you some beats because they think like you can kill it on that. And I love that shit. Mm-hmm. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> but what's it like um, having a because I wouldn't say that I have a like sort of s- s- steady like fan base. I wouldn't say like fan base, fan base, but like people that actively like basically a fan base, but like more actively. What's it like having a fan base? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tight. Uh, being like, oh, I fuck with you no matter what you do. Yeah, it's cool because it's like at the time when you do this shit, like you don't even expect no one to listen. Mm-hmm. You know, like you don't expect no one to care really. But then you got people in your inbox and your in your DMs on Instagram, on SoundCloud, on Facebook, just like hitting you up every single day asking me you're gonna drop some new shit. Makes you feel good, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like I guess I'm doing something, you know, that's worth something. Cause like nowadays that's hard to ask for. It. Mm-hmm. You know, people that actually fuck with you. You could be in a band for 10 years and you got five fans. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But, you know, thanks to internet, you know, it gives you plenty of options to, like, reach out in the world. Like, if I were to show you my my uh, Shazam songs, like, the amount of, like, places that are shazam my music Shazam, a lot of it's, like, the UK, Russia. I got stuff in, like, the Middle East. I got stuff in Africa. People shazam my shit. Because someone's playing that and they fuck with that. And then those same people will follow me on Instagram. They'll message me. Just be like, yo, I'm from so-and-so. And it's just cool to see, man. It's, it's really fucking cool. And uh, that you get into that. Uh, we've had uh, shit words. Um, we have tried to make this happen for so fucking long right yes it, it was even before the podcast yeah we were before talking about doing this thought. before you even wanted to do it because yeah. i because i had a youtube channel i, yeah, I would yeah. do st- i still you know do stuff with it but it's just a podcast yeah but like i remember every time you came down when i started being a content creator i was like oh yeah we could do this skit we could fucking do this challenge we could do a bunch of shit because oh. i wanted to help build your celebrity but also help build my flip yeah 
I ain't got no celebrity girl. Sorry, you. <laughs> but like, remember that when like you come down and be like, oh, I want to spend as much time with you as I can. Yeah, bro, it's still like that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Still like that, dude. It's been fifteen minutes. How do you feel? I feel drunk. <laughs> <laughs> honest answer <laughs> I, feel, I feel a little bit high but I feel good you're like I feel drunk <laughs> how do you feel I, I feel um, a, a little high a little stony a little a, a little stony a little, a little stone coldy bro a little stone coldy yeah. <laughs> glass shattered behind us dude if the glass shattered behind us I'd be like It'd be it, perfect though. It would, yes, it would it'd be very expensive. It would be very would expensive, be but I'd, I'd, I'd probably end up getting hit with a soccer ball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you've been doing music for how long? Uh, since 2016. So, five years. I'd say it would take five years. But six was five. Eleven. I think. That's, yeah, it's yeah. eleven. It's five years. Okay. Yeah. Five right. years. So. Um, of what who, if you have any inspirations that like because I know that there's Bob Dylan yes but is there other people like like Bob Marley or like uh, people that like inspire you like Bob Dylan I would say to, my biggest inspirations music? like as far as hip hop goes okay. MF Doom uh, that's the top of my list I love that for uh, Immortal Technique uh, I listen to a lot of Hobson yeah, like a lot of oh, dude, Hobson. I, I love Hobson. And speaking of Hobson, I found out because, like, you know how I'm like a special disability. Yeah, for, like, yeah, he's special too. Yeah. Like, yeah, I found that out uh, from Malachi when I was because I, I was feeling bad. I I thought you know I'm stupid because yeah. like I'm special ed, but then I was bro. Like, you listen to any Hobson's music, that's what he's talking about. Like, people call him stupid, but he ended up one of the best lyricists in the game. You know, his punches are fucking crazy. And I was listening to it, and I was like, holy oh, shit, yeah. Uh, I love Hobson. Uh, but, like, yeah, MF Doom and Mortal Technique, Hobson, uh, Kid Cudi, a lot, Obviously, of, a lot love, of Kid Cudi. I don't listen to rap music very often, but he, both Kid Cudi and this man are two of the people that, like, I, yeah. um, like, listen to regularly, like, rap music. Nice. Yeah. And then the last one, it, it got to be Childish Gambit. Yeah. Uh, Dude, his, his bonfire, his bonfire mixtape was that was the fucking shit to me. Honestly, I love Gambi. I, I would say I fuck with. Um, you remember when Pop, Flower Boy came out? Tyler, yeah, the, Tyler that Tyler Gambi. record. Yeah. Dude, and that was Doc, a good ass album too. I was, yeah, and I remember, uh, you know, remember back when uh, Malika had that small little tiny Virgin mobile phone. Yeah, was, like yeah, yeah. I remember me, you. And him, we watched uh, the Yonkers music video on it. And yes, we were sir. like, oh, yeah, we like this guy. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah, I love Tyler, too. Yeah, <laughs> I love yeah. Tyler, too. He's fucking the shit. He's fucking hilarious, too. Yeah, he's funny as fuck. He, his visuals are on point. And his bars are stupid, bro. And I love that shit. But they're perfectly stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they go dumb. Would you say Tenacious D is... They're obviously one of my favorite groups of all time because I just love Jack Black and, yeah. and Kyle Gass. But would you say they're a huge inspiration in like the sense of uh, they, they're like, like, because you know how we were talking about influences yeah. from the rap world? Yeah. Would they be like kind of count as like metal? Honestly, I love Tenacious D and I love their movies and shit, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say they inspire me like musically wise, oh. music wise. Like, if I'm taking anything from metal, I fucking system it down. Dude, I was listening to them last night. They're so uh, fucking good. Dude, system it down. That's like, that's my shit right there. Um, I take a lot from Korn. Yeah. I take a lot from even P.O.D. You don't listen to P.O.D. like that, but I take a lot from them. Back in the day, that was one of the yeah. bands that we listened yeah. to. And then Linkin Park, too. Yeah. Like, on top, like, I listen to all those motherfuckers. Are good. So, like, I remember when I was growing up listening to metal. Yeah. The only metal I've really listened to is like Skillet. Skillet, yeah. And, some, um, some of that gospel metal. like Mom. Yeah. yeah. They had Skillet, and then we'd lit. I, I remember I had a Skillet t shirt. You remember that? The fucking red one? I do. And I, like, I wore it with pride, too. I was yeah. like, yeah. I've seen them live. A I listened times. to heavy music. 
I listened to them live a couple times. That shit was, they were pretty sick. Mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna lie, that shit was pretty sick. I've seen them at West Valley High School. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, they're pretty tired. Anyway, um, they, uh, I was, when I was starting to get up to, you remember when All Hope Is Gone came out, the Slipknot record? Yes. Which was the last one with Paul Gray. Yeah, that's when I was like in eighth grade, bro. Yeah, because I remember that's when, um, Malachi dressed up as Craig. Yeah, for, for Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. And I remember, I, I thought it was so fucking cool because he had like the little straws for the, because you know nails, how that motherfucker yeah. put nails in his yeah. head. And um, yeah, I remember when that record came out, uh, me and Malachi had listened to it a lot because we were like huge Slipknot fans at the time. Yeah. And I remember the video for, uh, I think it was either Sulfur? No, it was Psychosocial. Psychosocial. Yeah, it was Psychosocial. Psychos- that was my shit, bro. Because Psychosocial it, was the shit when I was in eighth grade. Because you remember the fucking, in the video, when he, like, throat, when yeah. they, like, it looks like they crashed through a wall. Yeah. And I remember I was watching that video at me and Popo's house when I was, like, fucking... I mean, five? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you say you were in eighth grade, and there's a... What difference between us? There's like say you're 18, I'm 28 years. So, uh, so subtract what you're you being like eighth grade to me, first grade. Because I remember rocking out to that shit hard, yeah. and like me and Malachi, I was like I was watching it on the TV, and then I like when he was like what when he said the words like I can't say them because I'll get copyrighted. Yeah, but um he jumped to the wall and like I jumped on the couch and I was yeah. like oh acting like I was dead and shit yeah. and I remember the video for Dead Memories came out yes. and I listened to, I fucking watched that video so many times I yeah. think that has to be my favorite for you guys that's a fucking good song that's a good video that's a good everything good album yeah it's a good album dude I, I'm telling you I can't wait until I get that Paul Gray tattoo on my fucking like calf I'll be tired because, I mean, I know I was very young at the time. I didn't really know that he was dead until many, many, many years later. You going to get George Jordan someone now or what? Uh, I think I might have to because yeah, he, was a, have to too. he was a huge inspir- like musical inspiration for me, too. But, uh, so we've discussed how long you've been rapping and all that stuff. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, you were the guy that was that helped me out with the fucking majorly with the podcast. Yeah. You were, I was like, okay, so I have this idea. Here's what I'm gonna do, here's how it's gonna be done, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And then you were like, Okay, I'm I'm all for it. Let's go. Yeah, we can get you set up. And then you got me that RSS website, which got me on Spotify. And I I'm trying to get on Apple Podcasts, but I don't have you know You gotta get Apple Masters Apple. and shit. Like all that stuff. Yeah. But I, uh, you helped me get on Spotify. Yes. And then I remember when I was creating a logo. Yeah. I sent you all the extra you like, did. art and shit. Yeah. I liked all of them, low key. They're and, all pretty sick. And um, I, that was the only, I think that's the best because I'm not very good at like drawing wise. I would say um, him and uh, Malachi is the one that's really good at that. Yeah. Malachi kills that shit. Yeah. But, like, I remember I was hand-drawing it, and then I showed it to Malachi, and he was like, you, you made that? I was like, yeah, I made that. Yeah. And then I was, he was, I was like, is it good? He was like, you're fucking A right it is, buddy. Yeah, that shit's good, bro. That's and just, uh, since this is a touchscreen, I had a pen that I would use. And, like, I hand-drew the shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. And um, I was thinking about what it would look like if he had glasses on. <laughs> like, like he had a red hoodie or he jumped it because yeah. it's a purple hoodie with headphones i think the hoodie would take away from the headphones it would take away from the skull glass mm-hmm. you know, i think you did because i isn't it like with a hoodie and a skull or something yeah but well, it has a hoodie down though yeah i think but does it have the hoodie on? i'll check right now but live on the show i check my stuff check the spotify live on the spotify Oh, he does have a hood. Yes, he does. That looks tight. And you know how long that took me to draw? Three hours. Um, I think it was maybe, I 
Yeah, uh, close to two hours. Because I was at Nana's house. I remember that. Yeah. I was um, I was watching, because uh, whenever I go to Nana's house, it's like on a Friday. So like I got wrestling to watch. Yeah. So I'm like, Nana, we're going, I'm going to watch wrestling. She was like, why are you? Because I remember she walked in the door and I was or in the front room. Yeah. And I was watching South Park. <laughs> and she was like, why aren't you watching wrestling? It's eight o'clock. She knows. I, I was like, I, I was like, Nana, I she love knows. you. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> and then uh, I, I, I flipped it. And then me and her just sat there and watched an episode of SmackDown together. <laughs> and it was fucking hilarious because every time they like they bump and it, she's like, oh, it looked like a scary oh, bump. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. She was like, oh, because uh, fucking um, Edge hit the spear on somebody yeah. and the guy fucking flipped inside out. Right? Yeah. And like his neck like jolted when it happened. Well, Edge's neck jolted. And then Nana was like, oh, my God, <laughs> are they OK? I was like, Nana, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, they paid to do that shit. Yeah. yeah they so know what they do. It's OK. They know what they do. And uh, Nana, speaking of Nana, this fucking sweetest woman I've ever met in my life. Off times. <laughs> like, for real. For I, sure. she, I, I love her so fucking much, man. <laughs> Most of them. Me too. I, I've, yeah. I can't pick a favorite grandma because that's fucked up. Yeah. I love but them both. I, I love them both more than anything in the fucking world. That's true. Because, like, you know, they're, they're not a replacement for mom, but they're kind of a precursor. I, I like guess, they fill in the shoes. I guess that's right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. So you've been doing music for a while. Yes. And I remember when the Atlas Quad happened. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was when you guys had a Twitter account. We did. We and had Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and, and Instagram, things. all that. Shit. And I was because uh, I, I, at that point, I became like somehow really good friends with Tristan. Yeah, because he knew you since you were born. Really? Yeah. He, Tristan's been my friend since preschool. Really? Yeah. I did not know this. That's my boy, bro. Uh, oh, shit. It's dark out here. I've been here. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, I became real good friends with him. And yeah. like, we were talking about, like, because he was starting this whole YouTube shit up. Yeah. And I was, like, still building mine. When uh, that's when I came up with the Mikey Atlas name. Oh, his Tristan makes music shit. Yeah, yeah. That's when I came up with the Mikey Atlas name. Remember? And yeah. I like, I would try to go to as many of your shows as I could. You went to a few. I went to a few of them. Few. And I recorded every single one. Always packed out. And we say they're always sold out. And <laughs> um, I recorded every single one of them. And they're on a YouTube channel. They are. Yes, they are. they are. That they are. Because that was the fucking first video of mine. Like, if you go all the way back, that's yeah. like the first video. And it's the highest viewed one, too. It's like over, it's got over maybe a hundred something. Yeah. I think. Oh, we got time. a lot of people. We got a lot of people. And then uh, I became good friends with Tristan. And we were talking about music. And I was like, oh, that'd be cool if you guys did this. And like, I was like giving everybody ideas. And yeah. that's when I kind of became friends with uh with uh Doug too. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. 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 Yeah, that's yeah, my man. He's in the military now. Recipes. He's not dead. He's, <laughs> he's not, not dead. dead yet. <laughs> he's just not here. <laughs> fuck, dude. It's dark as fuck. We need a light. It is getting dark. Damn it. Damn it. All right. It's okay. We All can right. talk in the dark. We got this. Anyway. Um, like that's when he followed me back on Twitter, and I was yeah. like, I'm, I'm honored to have the mayor follow me. And he was like, dubbed the mayor. He bro. was like, he was like, oh, he was like, holy shit, dude! Uh, you're um, probably taking it like this. Fuck yeah! Yeah, and I give you guys advice on how to start a YouTube channel, all that yeah. stuff. And Only then, dropped ever one video. That's it. Control of chaos. Yes, I got which, quite a bit of views. So. Which I watched. Fucking, I, I watched it a lot. I'm being honest. Yeah, you know that was a one take. Real? Just his start Straight. and finish. That's it's it. Heavy, heavy, heavy. No heavy, editing. Heavy. No nothing. Just no, no straight reshoots. work. Just straight work. That's it. One oh. shot. Get it and done. That's it. That's like Eminem with Eight Mile. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We um we were outside of what is that store called on Harvard the shoe store? Um, shoe City. We were outside of Shoe City in the back in the back. And um, mm -hmm. people were giving us shit for being back there and recording. So we were just like, fuck it. Let's run the shit through one time. Mm -hmm. And then it only took one time. So mm -hmm. 
thank God <laughs> we were about to get kicked out and get a ticket because I remember when that shoe city was like first being built. Yeah, me and Pubble got hot dog over there. They, <laughs> it was really weird, but yeah. they were they were like when they first starting out their business, they like sold hot dogs, dogs out of that, yes. and those hot dogs were actually pretty good. I never had one, but I assume they were. And then they fucking that was when like they kept on getting windows broken. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, yeah that was when I was working out at Harvard. They always had their windows broken. And wasn't that when like Shakey's was starting to shut down too? Shakey's shut down a while. Not oh, I'm, t- I'm but like you know the Shakey shut down when I was like uh, right out of high school. Oh fuck, it was there my senior year, but after that it was done. But like uh, there was a um, food place like that. It was Shakey's. What you're talking about? Oh, okay. it was just closed down. And All, shit. Right. All right. Or was, Sharkies. Sharkies, yeah. Sharkies, not Shakies. Yeah, Sharkies. Fucking, I don't know. I think Shakies is still open. Shakies is definitely still open. It's we, not Hemet, but... We were talking about the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> Sharkies. Sharkies. Got that, kicked out of there a lot. Because I remember drunk. you um, you took me there one time. I did. It was my senior year to watch football and shit. Yeah. And yeah. we, like, play games and shit. And then we we always used to go to, what was it? De- no, it was... um. It used to be called Big Cheese, but now it's called Megabytes. Megabytes. But back in the day, it was called Big Cheese. Big Cheese. And yeah. we go all the fucking time. I was the only place in Hemi you could like drink, eat, and play games. Uh-huh. So of course we went there. It was like our Dave and Buster's. Yes, it's Hemi's Dave and Buster's. That's for sure. And like I, I remember, I, I used to always go there for like birthday parties with my friends and stuff. Yeah. And, like, we used to go watch football and, or, like, UFC fights. Football and UFC. Yeah. Because yeah. now we go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I was going to crack shows. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, chip it, chip it, chip it. We are half an hour in. Okay. Probably got that much longer. Because it's getting very dark. Yes, it is. But, um. As you know, I've been a ginormous wrestling fan. As long yeah, as your whole life. My your whole life. Entire life. Yes. Uh, did I tell you the story of uh, Malachi? He asked me. He was, I asked him why um, he made me into a wrestling fan. You did tell me, but tell me again. He, for the people that don't know, I am a gigantic wrestling fan. And I watch it all the time. But um, my brother Malachi... He made me do it back in the day. This was like 2008, maybe. I, I remember this shit specifically. Well, I, like he told me, he was like, oh, I'm going to make him a giant wrestling fan. So we never stopped watching. Yeah. yeah and, I was then, to talk about. and then now, now he told me, he was like, now I regret that decision. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're a major wrestling fan. Yeah, a giant, giant. I love me and my wrestling. I watch it all the damn time. Anyway, that's true. Yes, I do. There isn't one. Name one time I'm watching something else. Can you name one time you talk about something else? <laughs> <laughs> now it's either wrestling, horror, or I think that might be it. It's about it, yeah. Wrestling and horror. <laughs> I-, I would say Family Guy, but I don't talk about it that much. I watch a lot of Family Guy too. Yeah, I dude, I when we got Hulu, I fucking I binged it. And um yeah, so did I. Uh, I've been a giant wrestling fan my entire life, and um, I remember back when me and Malachi were kids, because we're not that far apart in age. You're not like four years. It, uh, like me and Malachi, five distance. years. Yeah, Malachi's me and him, distance. five years. A week in fucking five years. That's an amazing. That's a fucking, you know, like shit. Congrats. Um, a week in five years. Anyway, um, we were talking about. We were like, oh yeah, we're gonna be tag team champions one day. And we're gonna be these awesome wrestlers because, like, we love the Hardy Boys, and yeah. Brian Kendrick, and Paul London, and people like that. Yeah, because that's when back when Boogeyman, I was I was <coughs> terrified of <coughs> yeah. Boogeyman as a child. <coughs> yeah, you were. I was. Yeah, I would. That show's funny. <laughs> I would not be in the same room as the fucking. Whenever I hear <coughs> I'm the Boogeyman, I'd be like, oh. Hell no. Nah. They're like, I'm coming to get you. We're like, no, the fuck, you're not. We look like the boogeyman right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Darkest, but you okay. can't even see how my face looks. Yeah, you can only see, like, it's only ah, because of that light. That light, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, if they had 
turned on the light inside, but it was also, you know, I feel like it kind of sucked for them, too. If they turned on the light. It would. And they're playing games, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they are. Anyway, uh, do you have any stupid stories of me being myself as a child growing up that I don't remember? Honestly, I am drunk right now. <laughs> and I, I'm also pretty high. So I cannot think of anything off the top of my head, but I can say, yes, you were a dumbass. When you were little, bro, <laughs> like when you were like two to probably like five, bro, you literally would just start screaming high pitch <laughs> all the time. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be like every two minutes, you just start screaming. And they'd be like, what? And you just start laughing. And then you start screaming again. I'm like, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm about to beat the shit out of you. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. No, but you always used to be screaming all the time. Bro, you remember how um I used to watch Lazy Town all the fucking yes. time? Lazy Town 24-7. And Airheads when that movie came yeah, out. Airheads. Well, that movie came out a long time before I was I born. hate Airheads now because of that. <laughs> I saw that movie so many times. Hey, isn't one of the girls off Lazy Fans our Lazy Town and OnlyFans model now? Yeah. I think it was the chick with the pink hair. Wait, no. Yeah, it was the yeah. only human chick on the show. How much is it? <laughs> <laughs> we need that link. Yeah, that link. Uh, for sure. I, I, for I, sure, he need that link. Think about it. I'd rather masturbate to free porn than porn I gotta pay for. That's true. <laughs> that, that is you, you, true. You have a fruit of you have an internet full of free porn, but but I pay but, for a virtual strip club. But she doesn't love you, man. But some of them booties, though. <laughs> That's why you got to find the free yeah, ones, man. Bro. No, <laughs> if it's anything worth watching, it's gonna cost some money. I mean, I ain't got nothing against that shit. <laughs> I buy it if your ass is right. Trust. Yeah, if if it's if it's got the right circumference, he's I, I'm I'm in there like swimwear. Oh, I haven't heard that phrase in a long time. Yes, yeah, since like 2010. No, I watch this wrestling YouTube channel, and um, they they're like from England. Yeah, and they use weird shit like that all the time. Yeah. And they're like somewhere that's from like a it's from a song. I forgot what song they were. Yeah, we are both pretty baked right now. Yes, <sighs> that piece is gonna be so fucking good. Yes. Anyway, it is. We we have had, I would say, the most fun over the last. Fucking what? Two days off? Yeah, I had one day off, but we're chilling yesterday too. You remember the first time we went to the arcade? Yes, that was Friday. Yeah, and then, and then yeah, I was like, well, yeah, we'll go to the arcade and fucking watch Black Widow, and then yeah, we do a bunch of cool shit with you, man. I also got drunk as fuck. You did. I I, also, I knocked over one beer and I felt so bad. He did knock over my beer, but it was okay. Because I already drank like four and I just. I you were like, thank you. I just got another one. Like, it was. And then the guy that walked it, the guy looked up at him. He was like, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, that guy was such a stereotypical, like, 90s white guy. Yeah. He's like a dime bag Daryl type. Yeah. Every time I went up to the bar, he was like, what's up, brother? He's like, how you doing, bro? <laughs> brother right. hasn't been cool since fucking Hulk Hogan. Hey, I still hey. call people brother. All right, brother. You do? Yeah. <laughs> brother, brother. I'm like, hey, brother. Number. <laughs> <laughs> like, What's up, brother? <laughs> I only say brother to you because, like, you know, because I'm brother. your brother. Brother, brother. <laughs> but, uh, uh, dude, Hulk Hogan's look the same for less than you thought. Hulk Hogan's looked the same since he was a baby. Since since the fucking 80s. I'm convinced that he came out with a mustache. With a handlebar mustache. He had a mustache. And a receding hairline. And a receding, yes. <laughs> he had, he had the, the cul-de-sac haircut and a mustache when he was born. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, he came out, his first word was brother. He's like, hey, brother. <laughs> He's like, I'll tell you something, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you something, brother. He's like, let me tell you something, mean gene. Like my tattoo, can't see it. Fuck twelve. That's what it says. Wait, let me shine a light on it. Oh, oh, shine a light on oh. me. Still can't see it. Fuck. Um, oh, well, there it is. Uh, we could do that. We could do that. So people can see us now. <sighs> but yeah, I'd say we're both pretty faded. 
Yes, I'm faded. I don't, you don't need to get that close. Where's the microphone? <laughs> but, um, I'm faded. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I love you. You fuck around like this all the time. But, um, um, like Birdman. When I got, yeah, like Birdman. Anyway, um, first time I got high, because I remember I was, when I was like 17 and 16. That was yeah. when I remember you guys were starting, like actually getting you know, stony, stony, stony. Like you know, hell no, nah. I've been stony, stony since I was twelve years old. Okay, and I'm twenty six. That's I, fourteen years ago. How old were you fourteen years ago? I can't fucking. Four. Remember. You were four years old. Okay, when I first you don't need to get stony. that close. <laughs> don't you put some respect on my name? <laughs> <laughs> we look like we fucking love each other right now, man. Oh, we look Good. like it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we do a bunch of dumb shit together. Always, I just do oh. dumb shit. Period, dude. But like, I remember first time I got high was with Malachi and Caleb, and they fucked me up. Yes, it was. Yes, they yes. they kept he, they just kept on being like, "Come on, bro, don't be a bitch." <laughs> and then I do it, I do it, I do it. He even smoked wax. Yeah, for my first time out. Yeah, that like syringe, huh? Yeah, because yeah. he was pouring the syringe and like his finger slipped, and he was like, "Oh no!" Put and then him and, Mal- him and Malachi started laughing really hard, <laughs> and we were like, "We're about to kill him." Yeah, and then I did it, and I was like, I was sitting there, and I remember Popo told me he was like. That's the quietest you've ever been. Because you were high on marijuana. Yeah, um, I was thinking of a Tenacious D joke, but I can't think of one. No, but I know they got stuff about being high. They got a lot of shit about getting high. But, dude, did you know that there's a Bond of Destiny? I do. Like, like there's been a on hype? Amazon. And I, dude, they sell it. There was, like, one on Etsy. Yeah. Like had a pipe and it, that's and just probably pit. expensive because it's Etsy. All together, it was like with the stand and the pick and the whole deal. It was like, like, like fifty or sixty bucks. That's not bad because we've seen that one pipe today that was like seventy. Bucks. Yeah, yeah, she got fat ass. <laughs> she got a fat ass. She got a fat ass. She has a fat ass. She has a fat behind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that shit bad. All right, so um, I remember we were uh, I was smoking with them, and they were like, "Don't be a bitch, don't be a bitch." And I kept on smoking, I kept on smoking. That's our motto. And we were watching Pineapple Express, and it like when I the first couple of times I got high, I. I think I was just so violently stoned at that point that you didn't realize you were <laughs> that my life was in a third, like my my life went from a third person perspective to a immediate first person, and I'm like, oh, like I feel like my eyeballs are popping out, yeah, and like I'm here, but I'm also not here, so it makes me a little like scared, yeah, you know, when you're violently that high, that's Always. how I was the first time. Always, but now it's gotten better to where I. No, it's in a first person perspective and it's okay. Because yeah. the first time I love weed. I watched I walked off the hit. You can even ask Caleb about this. I I was taking a hit and I was like, I don't walk this off. And I was just I walked all the way to one side of Nana's not Nana's Mimi's um uh, uh uh concrete. Yeah. And like I was gonna turn around and walk back. But they were like, dude, you, got you, lost? Were, you <laughs> were standing there for like <laughs> ten minutes. I was like, Really? They were like, high. yeah. Because Malachi, he always, whenever I get high with him, keep in mind, I love this man. But he fucking, he, every time I get high with him, he tries to pull this fucking joke on me. Oh, I got to go go pee, right? Yeah. And then he goes around one side of the house. He says, I'm going to go around the whole house, right? Yeah. And then he goes over this one side, waits like maybe a minute. And then fucking comes back and he was like, dude, I walked around the house twice. How high are you? <laughs> this fucking motherfucker, I know that you were just sitting there. Yeah. You were like, yeah. We used to do that a lot to Malachi when he first started smoking too. And then start that's probably why flicking you know, the lighter in his face. That's probably why he does it to you. He was like, I I am the leader of the gospel now. It's fun to fuck with people when they're high. Yes, it is. But so much fun. Now I can actually um you can hang. Now when I get high, I think I can hang. 
you can hang. Like, I'm not sitting there, like, for 20 minutes, like, oh. I still do that sometimes. Where, where like, I'm high, you can tell. Yeah, because not only am I your little brother, but, like, we we know how high we get. Yes. Yes. And it is a good thing we do it in moderation. I I do not. I Well, I only get high whenever I go to Mimi Papa's house. And that's like maybe once every two weeks. That's good. I'm proud of you. I would get high more if I had more weed. But I do not. Weed is expensive. And there's this video of uh, me smoking pot. I sent it to Roger because I had a... Um, I remember I got a munchie meal. And dude, they're so fucking good. They and are, like, especially when you're high. When you're high, fuck yeah, they are. All right. There it is. Zippo lighter and all, bro. Oh. Can't figure out how to light that shit, but you're smoking. <laughs> it, it was lit. Barely. Barely. Okay, I am high, so. Yeah, you look like a thug. I, I, after I got done recording it, I was like, well, I hate the people that do this. Why am I the one that's doing this? Too? I don't even know. Yeah, I, I, that's why I didn't fucking post nothing. Yeah, you're right. It's a good move. Solid move. But, like, I, I think it's cool smoking with a Zippo lighter, you know. It is. On the joint. It is. Especially when you have a customized Zippo lighter. <laughs> anyway, um, we, like, my favorite times of getting high. This is when say I once I learned how to roll the joint, all bets are off. Yeah. All fucking bets are off. You smoke like a motherfucker once you learn how to roll. Once I learn how to roll, I'm gonna be smoking everything and every everything and anything I can get. Don't smoke no crack. Not crack, but I mean weed wise. <laughs> yeah. Say if I get like a nug from somewhere. Like rolling if, that bitch up. If I steal a nug from Jaden, roll I'll that fucking bitch roll up. that bitch up and smoke it by myself. We do not condone stealing weed. From we do not people. condone this. We do are not just rambling. Weed from people. Do not. Unless but smoke weed. I yeah. Smoke a lot of weed. I would say yeah. It's environmentally friendly. It grows out of the fucking ground. And you can have really good conversations with it. I've never seen anybody OD on weed. That's called a good nap. That is called a great nap. <laughs> Cause dude, I fucking um my favorite times of getting high is when I like right when I'm about to go to sleep. Hell yeah. Cause I'm fucking just oh big booty back. Oh. Like oh, I got a baby. Shit. Be a step <laughs> Be a step daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then um like yeah me and malachi get high and watch south park and i take a nap or i'd either take a nap or i'd like go to sleep and it'd be the best i'd sleep so hard and i i'd wake up and be like where the fuck am i i'll be taking naps every single time i smoke i ain't gonna lie i yeah. smoke if i'm by myself I'm taking a nap. Dude, if you smoke weed, I give you a challenge. Smoke weed, jerk off, and try to stay awake. No way. <laughs> that ain't happening. That ain't gonna happen. I bust a nut, I catch some Z's. <laughs> Even when I'm sober, Dude, yeah, it's that, bedtime. Think about it. Think about it. Um, it is busting nuts so hard where, like, when you, after, like, you're done, you you feel, your legs just feel relaxed. Always. Yeah. Like I, yeah. Always. I feel so much peace in my soul. <laughs> and it's the most rational thinking you do for about eight minutes. Right after, yeah. Yeah, like immediate. Right after. Immediate. You're yeah. like, oh, like, what the fuck did I what just do? What am I do? doing with my life? Yeah, it's the most shame you feel in your life. Yeah. You're like, I look fat. <laughs> I look fat. I don't be looking. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, yeah, we're talking about if you smoke pot, jerk off, and like stay awake, you should be a Navy SEAL. Yes. <laughs> that should actually be a qualification to yeah. become a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Yeah, smoke weed and bust a nut. And if yeah. you can stay awake, you a fucking trooper. Yeah. You, you're so, you're super, you're Captain America. You point. deserve veteran rights after that. Yes. Yes. Like vet discounts and shit. Yes. Fear factor ain't got nothing on you, bro. No. Anyway, um, 
I, I remember I busted nuts <laughs> fat one time. It was like, it was like that. It was like it was never ending. I was like, what? I thought I was done. And then <laughs> I actually did that one week ago <laughs> on this girl's booty. <laughs> Where it just seems like it never ended. You're yeah. like, oh, no. I was smashing. I hadn't, I hadn't busted a nut in like probably like a week. And then I was hitting that shit from the back and it just exploded. <laughs> that shit was everywhere. <laughs> that shit was dunk. Because I'm gonna hit her up right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you know, I haven't done that yet. Yeah. But like I say, I've watched a lot of game field. Tell you that much. And then I, it was one time I did it, right? And it was just like ah, ah. like I I felt my my legs lift up a second, like like I was like being a ballerina. I was like, oh Jesus! You levitated. <laughs> I levitated off of the ground, man. Not so hard, you levitate. And then like I fucking That's sat my down. new goals. I sat down in my chair and I was like, oh, yeah. well, I'm yeah. spent. Like and then I just fucking you know go to sleep with a tissue in your hand, pass down, <laughs> your, pass at your knees, and you wake up like. <laughs> I need to take a shower. <laughs> That's like the key and peel thing. It's like another crispy side. Yeah, honestly, but it's crispy tummy because you didn't clean crispy yourself up tum- before you went to sleep. That's like, that's like jerking off and like playing with your balls, or after like say eat a bag of Cheetos and play with your balls and like you didn't wash. There's repercussions for that. There's repercussions for that. That's actually. like especially the hot Cheetos. <laughs> you feeling that shit all day? I don't even want to think about that. I'm fucking. Mm. I only had one bite of them noodles, and they fucked me up. We right. had some spicy noodles this morning. Some Korean noodles. Mm. It was from a restaurant. They're like dummy spicy, dude. Next, I washed time. my hair four times before I took a piss. Yeah, <laughs> four next, times. Next time I come out here, we are recording. We are getting that, and we are recording it. I sweat a lot. <laughs> it was fucking hot. Okay, <laughs> but are you down? Yes. Let's fucking go. Down. Hell yes. Anyway, um I <clears throat> do I do the whole wrestling thing, right? Yes. So like I get out here and I once I start doing the jujitsu for PE, bro, since it's it counts towards PE credit. And um once I learn how to do that, bro, and like I come home after like a day, <laughs> day, day of college and like I Dude, like I come home right after the jujitsu, and I'm like, bro, I always show you what I learned. And then I just think it'd be cool to use to like have jujitsu as a um, as like a class you have to take in school. Yeah, yeah. Instead of dedicating ten years to a gym. My senior year high school PE was jujitsu class. I used to choke all the motherfuckers out. I will put everybody in triangles. I will put you in an arm triangle. Put you in a guillotine. I put you in the darts. I fuck your ass up. Leg locks. No, not in PE. It was always chokes. It was always chokes. I always, I had to go for the choke. I had to go for the neck. Go for the neck. I had to go for the neck. I think my favorite submission hold of all time has to be um, Walls of Jericho. You know, an MMA fighter actually used that. Yeah, yeah. you know it doesn't really hurt. <laughs> I know. Matt <laughs> Caleb put me in the Lion Tamer about about a week ago. That. That it kind of hurt that a little hurts, bit, yeah. but I've never been in the walls of Jericho. It does not hurt that bad. I'm flexible though, so. I, I then again, I am not. Very yeah, much. I probably fuck your ass up then. Probably fuck up my back. <laughs> anyway, um, say like I learned how to wrestle, and then I already told you that I'm gonna have like a room with a wrestling ring in my house, either a barn with a fucking ring in it with a bunch of titles and shit. Or I'm going to have a room in my house with a wrestling ring in it. And then yes. it'd be like this. Whenever there's tension in the household. Wrestling ring. Fucking go to. Hit the ring. Hit I'm the ring, dog. German suplex. Like, let's I'm take a sack in your face. Let's take out our aggression in the ring. Like, yeah. you know, we fucking, we could use ladders, chatters. Chatters. La- ladders. Chatters and layers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladders and you chairs. Chatters and layers and, and bears. Oh my. And fucking stairs and the whole deal. I'm going to have like a whole like WWE like ladders and tables and shit. It's yeah. going to be a whole whole deal. Since you I'm have be, that shit at Home Depot. I'm going to be with like working for him too. So. Yeah. I'd be like, come on, let's hit the ring. Fuck it. And then, or I'll have like a, and I'll also have like a, 
like a legit wrestling room. Because yeah. a legit wrestling room is the same as a jiu-jitsu room, right? Because yeah. of the pads and mm. the padding and stuff. Mm. Yes, but no. It's different material. One is canvas and one is like, I don't know. I don't know what material. It's not canvas, so it's like shiny. It's almost like leather, mm -hmm. but it's not leather, you know? It's like um that one um, could be plastic. No, it's not plastic. Cause I think it's, it's leather. I think it might be because uh, I remember when I was in my wrestling, uh, I don't have a wrestling in high school when I used to wrestle. That was like a jujitsu match. Yeah, that those have to be the things I miss most about high school. But if you put me in a college wrestling room, I guarantee you I will not last one day. The motherfucker's serious. <laughs> like the motherfucker's serious. People wrestle in high school just to wrestle, but if you wrestle in college, it's because you want to wrestle. You know, and you're gonna you're gonna go to state. That motherfucker's serious, bro. Doesn't mean you can't do it. Yeah, but your ass got to train. I get like, get like, <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt I can't yourself. flex very big, not very strong. Anyway, um, say, uh, I told Roger when I start making consistent money, I'm gonna pay him to be on the road with me and teach me jujitsu. Yeah, kind of like how Matt Heafy and Maynard James Keenan do. Yeah. When Rogers a black belt too, so yeah, just recently too. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to California so I can vote. It's gonna beat your ass. Yes, but it'll be so fun. He's gonna choke you out with your shirt. You know, you know how he. Did. <laughs> but it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, he'd be my ass a lot. Like, dude, I can't wait to actually like. I remember I tried to play pool at his house, and I was yeah. like, I, I watch a lot of Drake and Josh. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I was like, because <laughs> I think Caleb was living with him at the time. Yeah, and I was I was like I know he was like oh Jake and Josh you know we're playing pool stuff yeah. and then yeah I remember I still to this day don't know how to play pool I do I can teach you I do not know how to play pool it's not very hard but I want a house with a basement in it. I want a house with two basements so like a lair yes like a basement and then the basement's basement like the fucking um like the Resident Evil movie when they show the X ray and it's got all the yeah, something, like, something like that. Yeah, something like that. But uh, and the WWE, they don't um hit you. They don't pop you for weed anymore. No one does. They used to pop you for weed, but everybody used to. But it's twenty twenty one. They don't um. Well, they don't pop for the weed. They, they don't like pop you for weed anymore. So that means I couldn't be like an RVD. Yeah, because he was the first wrestler on like a mainstream stage yeah, to fucking vocalize that he smoked pot and still be a huge star. True. So I could do what RVD did and oh, you know, it'd be funny as fuck. Yeah. If we had them spicy ass noodles right now, we're high as fuck. It's too hot out here to eat that shit. <laughs> Y'all know, you can see my sweat, bro. It is hot as fuck. Yes, how, it how is. Hot? Let me fucking see. Hey, hey, there's us. Weather app. Weather <laughs> app. Here it is. It is 99 degrees. It's 102. Oh, it is 102 degrees. <laughs> I remember the first night I came it's here. It's 8 o'clock and it's still 102 degrees. I was dripping sweat. All right. Um, right. I'm just really happy we got to do this. How are you feeling? Good, Am I doing a good job? Yes. Let's yes. See. With some gusto. Because re remind reminder, we are... We're just riffing it here. I heard I was told to write questions all two weeks. No, plan. I do not do one of them. No plan. I'm drunk. We're both high, and we chilling. And I remember I had a fear of uh, getting high and recording the podcast because I feel like I wouldn't be as good, like sharp eyes, to like record. Shan, but <laughs> but um. Like now that I'm doing it and I'm high, I feel like we're it's a good thing. But I felt like time, it, 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 it gotta give it like maybe like 55 seconds. 55. But, but uh, yeah, these things normally go for an hour. But um, I do a good job. Yeah, bro. Very good. Uh, I'm I had fun. At least you had fun. Yes, I Man, fucking hope you fun. did. I had a lot of fun. I love you, you motherfucker. If you didn't have fun, 
Fuck you. We're going to come. Oh, no, no. We're going to come you. here. I don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, no. And well, if, fuck you. If you listen to this, thank you. If you don't, fuck off. If you don't, I hope you stub your toe every time you walk into your kitchen. Do that. No, 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 no. I hope your shoe morning. is always untied. Dude, you know, you know, it's the worst time to stub your toe? 3 a.m. in the dark. That's true. I hope you stub your toe every time you go to piss at night. Yeah, that's fu- I remember there was this one time. <laughs> me and Popo. <laughs> so I was walking <laughs> to the front room. Because, like, you know, we slept on the couches. So um, I was walking in the front room. I stubbed my toe. And I was like, oh. And then I, just, I, uh, oh, I was like, he stubbed me toe. I was like, yeah, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> and then uh, he, uh, I heard him walking into the room. And he stubbed his toe on his bed. <laughs> and he was like, oh. <laughs> and uh, you got to keep in mind, Popo is a pretty funny motherfucker as he is. He's a funny ass. That's where we get it. Yeah, I think that's where we get our comedy aspects from. But. Uh, there's been only a couple times in my life where I've made him laugh so uncontrollably hard, I thought he was going to die. Yeah. There was this one time me and him were, uh, like, moving couches. That shit just sticks, bro. And then I said, it's a me, Mario, right? (laughs) And then that made him laugh so hard. He was laughing like a little kid. I thought he was going to die for a second. And I was like, Popo, breathe. But, like, you know how he's like... (laughs) How he's like this yeah. when his face gets all red and it's all like it's yeah. all contorted and shit. And we're like, Popo, breathe. You only have one luck. You can't laugh that hard. This motherfucker's sitting there going and wheezing and shit. And I, I'm like, oh, Popo, I love you. Please breathe. <laughs> and uh, I've only had made him do that twice in my life. Yeah. And I think they have to be the proudest moments. Yeah, I've had a couple of those in my life. I was a funny motherfucker growing up. Still kind of funny. I I I'm funny in unintentional <laughs> ways. Like that's I that's kind of funny. Like I can't tell you a good joke, but I can do something stupid that'll make you go, "Come on!" Like what's the fuck? Me too. Like <laughs> Me I, too. I I do that a lot. Or I say half my comedy is people just like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like that Bo Burnham thing. Yeah, Bo Burnham does the same shit. And it's like where you're listening to his songs and you're like, "What the fuck?" Oh, yeah. Like he has a song named White Woman in White Woman's Instagram, right? Yeah. And then he's going through all the tropes of white women on Instagram photos and the fucking seventeen. And he he was he did this one part of the song where he's uh, writing a ten year anniversary mom death post. Been there. And yeah, we just got there recently. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why. I think I'm a bad person because I laughed so hard. It's because you were late. Like, dude, he was like, he was like, it's I can't believe it's been ten years since you've been gone. And like, he was talking about. That's the way he seems to. Like he was like, I can't believe ten years since you've been gone. We made like stuff together and all that. Yeah. And I got what I got, job and husband now. I think you'll like. It. And like, I do that. Has Bo Burnham been? Yeah? No. No, he, he, he was the white woman's Instagram oh, song. Oh. And he was, uh, it made me laugh. So, like, I remember that video of when John Cena came back at some time recently? Yes. And I was like, <laughs> like, I was laughing so long. That was just pure joy. Yeah. You heard in that laughter? That was, like, that was the type of laugh that Bo Burnham got. Yeah. But it was like more of a what the fuck did he just say? That's yeah. hilarious. I feel like that's what Eric Andre tries to do, but like he succeeds. He succeeds, yeah. But it was funny. Like, um, I remember I watched uh, just watching him. Re- I just like watching the reactions of Malachi and seeing how how funny it is to him. It yeah. makes me laugh because it is funny, but it's also look how it's hard this motherfucker is laughing. Because he's like, <laughs> well, he's not like that, but he's like, <laughs> he does it in like a, there's like different evolutions of the same person. Yeah. It's like, there's dad. And then there's uh, Caleb, I think. Phase two. Yeah, he's like phase two. And then you. And then um, Malachi. And then me. And then Faith. Yes. And then, um, like, we all have the same laugh, basically. And we just, 
we're like the same exact person and like we have the same thinking mindset copy and paste it yeah but like throughout the generations it's fucking hilarious yeah i think it is because me and malachi have a lot of the same ideas it's fucking scary like it's terrifying at times because me and malachi will be talking and we'll be like ha 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 he's like how about this and then we say the same shit at the same time and it scares the fuck out of us because we're like dude how do we keep doing this yeah and then uh yeah yeah it, it, we we think alike so much that it it doesn't annoy me at times but it's just like come on bro we need something else to gotta be original we gotta have something else yeah just if I, if I really think about it, I would talk to you you and Caleb more, but I realize that you guys are very, 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 very busy men. I am very busy. And I really don't want to, you know, bother you. It's never a bother. It's more of a, I'll get back to you when I can. Yeah. But, like, I feel like, I mean, I know you're my brother and I shouldn't be shy or nothing, but I feel like I would be taking up valuable time. You know? Nah. Because... Uh-huh. I go to work and I go to sleep and I have all music stuff. But like when I get a chance, I'll talk to you. Yeah, it don't matter, you know. And like I remember, we had a, like a two-hour conversation, and uh, that was the first time we talked about like when I move out there, I'll like share a room with you. Yeah. And I told, I remember, I told you specifically, I do not want to cock block you. That's why. Yeah. I kind of, I mean, I would love to share a room with you, man, but also, you know, I don't want to be that guy that's just like, you know what, fuck. You can't cock block me. You can't. You, you just be like, yep, yeah, out. Come on. I'll just fucking work. Yeah. You'd be like, you can stay if you want. I'm if not going to judge. If you want to stay, it's going to be $5. If you want to stay, I'm not going to judge. Just don't tell nobody. <laughs> just don't look at my balls. <laughs> just don't fucking start whipping your... your yeah, don't touch yourself. Just don't, don't tickle your... Don't fucking peel your potato. Yeah. You, know? you can take a video, but... Don't don't beat your shit in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of porn, a lot of a lot of funny stuff. But that's what my my friend does with his brother since they share. Them. And they fuck like, in front of each other? No, not that. Oh, I was like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> he like, I was he, joking about that. He like kicks him out. He's like he's like out, and like that's he, what I would do. I'd he, just be like, hit the I'd, road, be, Jack. I'd be like, I got it, bro. Hit and, the road, Jack. And then um. He, but like he, my friend got his. He's the one I'd get high with after I got high with um, Eli, Caleb. with uh, Caleb and Malachi. He was the one that uh, regularly wanted me to get high with him. Like yeah. he kind of killed it to a point where it kind of turned me off from weed. Yeah. And then you guys were like, "Here," I was like, "Okay, smoke this." And I was like shaking with Parkinson's the first time I smoked. I was like this. I was like, "You still kind of shake." Yeah, because I, I mean, I know I shouldn't feel nervous, but it's one of those things. I feel that. Because I, I just, I'm just so happy doing it. But like he told me, he told me even to a point, he was like, oh, I'll supply the weed. Okay, wait. What, what's the best light option? You can see it. Yeah. Okay, but um, now <laughs> after I got high with them, since I wanted to be the first time with them. I, I got high with him like four or five times after that. Like I go to his house all the time and he didn't live that far from me. Yeah. So he picks me up and then we smoke and then we like go get a munchie meal or something if I have any money. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I'm like you in that way where I, I just spend money on him. I'm like, yo, yeah. uh, ride home. I'll give you like, you want to pick up some tacos on the way home? You know, yeah. I'm pretty funny. Not pretty funny, pretty hungry. But like I get high with him a lot. Speaking of food, yeah, there's pizza inside. I am fucking hungry. There's pizza inside. Like I get high with them all the time, and we'd be like, "Yeah, that's that's when we recorded the first podcast." Yeah, that first in person one. Yeah, and then we started. Uh, we we got high Start like jerking each other every off. other day. He was the his house was the first time I puked while I was high. Nice, because I took a huge. You always hit. remember that. I took a huge hit, and I was like, "Oh." Like I forgot to pull it because I thought he was he was gonna pull it. Yeah. But it was like still there and the bong was getting milky. And he was like, Bro, pull the shit. Yeah. I was he was I was like, oh, and then I pulled it and I took it all in and I fucking I was I blew it out and I was like this. 
I was like, <laughs> like, like you know, when you have that look on your face, you're gonna hurl. Yeah. He was like, bro, you don't look so good. Go outside. I was like, all right. So we were smoking in his uh, like barn, like uh, so, yeah. Yeah. It was like a smoke room or something. It was like a barn. Yeah. But um, no, his shed. That's what it's called. He said smoke room. <laughs> And uh, yeah, shit. And like I went outside and I puked. And when I puked, I saw like you know when you're watching the Jackass movie and he yeah. pukes. I saw that. Yeah. I saw me. I saw myself in that situation. Projectile and and then just yeah. And it was right next to his. Like I had the door open too, so they watched the shit. Yeah. And I puked all over his tree stump. All right. I'd say we're our ten minutes in. We're good. So, um. Uh, I have been Seth McKendry. This has been the Culture Shark. Plug your shit. I have been Onyx the Warrior. Oh, yeah. This, okay. At Onyx the Warrior, everyone. Onyx the Warrior. On Instagram, Facebook. All right, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Spotify, Apple Music. It really does not matter. You got any anything important coming up? Like anything else you want to plug? Not yet. Dates to be determined. Not yet. But like, I, you know. Trying to get all the yeah. promotion out of you because I can't. I have an album that I'm making right now. I've yet to come up on a name. I keep going back and forth with a bunch of different names. But right now I have about 16 songs recorded. Don't know if I ever release it, but I fucking might. So stay tuned. I'll listen to the music he already has out too, because that's some pretty good shit. Yeah. yeah. If you want to go home and cry. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So I have been Seth McKendry. This has been the Culture Shock. Uh, come back again, will you? See you later. Bye. We are ending this now. Peace, people. <laughs>